Rooted in tradition, the PGA Tour makes its last stop on the Texas Swing in Hogan's Alley. It's the Crown Plaza Invitational at Colonial. Welcome to the latest edition of PGA Tour Today. No PGA Tour event has been contested on the same layout longer than the Crown Plaza Invitational at Colonial Country Club. The list of past champions runs deep with the names of Ben Hogan, Sam Snead, Jack Nicholas, and Arnold Palmer. Hello, I'm Wynn McMurray. Built in 1936, Fort Worth's Colonial Country Club has been a landmark in the South. It hosted the 1941 U.S. Open, the first time the national championship was held below the Mason-Dixon line. The PGA Tour event dates back to 1946. Hogan won the first two playings and followed them up with three more victories at Colonial over his lifetime, including what turned out to be his final career win in 1959. Continuing in the footpath of legends, a field piled high with champions has assembled for one last time this season in the Lone Star State, but one player will be greatly missed. It is the first time since 1972 that a defending champion will be absent. That year, the 1971 winner, Gene Littler, pulled out after being diagnosed with cancer of the lymph nodes. Phil Mickelson will not defend this year as he tends to his family after the news that his wife Amy was diagnosed with breast cancer. Littler recovered and returned the following year to Colonial, as we hope will the Mickelson family. Topping the field in the FedEx Cup standings is Zach Johnson. With his victory at the Valero Texas Open, Johnson regained the number one spot in the race to the PGA Tour playoffs for the FedEx Cup. He tees off Thursday at 9.16 a.m. Eastern with Sean O'Hare, who won earlier this year in Charlotte, and local Justin Leonard. The Dallas native has five career top tens at Colonial, and he's been comfortable at home over the last few weeks with a tie for 16th at the HP Byron Nelson Championship and a tie for 5th in San Antonio. Last week's winner, Rory Sabatini, has also lifted the Fort Worth Trophy back in 2007, but he'll have to conjure something special from Hogan if he's to win at Colonial this year. Hogan is the only player who has won both Dallas-Fort Worth events in the same season. Kenny Perry already has two Crown Plaza Invitational at Colonial titles to his name from 2003 and 2005. Making his 20th career start in Hogan's Alley, Perry also has history on his side. The 48-year-old holds the tournament record of 19 under par, which he first set in 2003, then matched in 2005. Perry is off at 9.04 Eastern Thursday morning. Joining Perry for the first two rounds, 34-time PGA Tour champion Vijay Singh and this year's Verizon Heritage winner, Brian Gay of Fort Worth Native. In the afternoon, keep an eye out for Aussie Jeff Ogilvie, who is already a multiple winner on tour this year. Ogilvie is second in the FedEx Cup standings and tied for seventh last year at Colonial. With more on what to expect this week, we go to the PGA Tour Network's Fred Albers. Welcome to Colonial Country Club, the site of the Crown Plaza Invitational at Colonial. In the words of Jeff Ogilvie, what a pleasure it is every year to come to this historic golf course. Quite frankly, there are some places on the PGA Tour where the strategy involves grip it and rip it off the tee, gouge it out of the rough onto the green, take one or two putts, and move on. That's not the case with this historic old golf course, affectionately known as Hogan's Alley. Jeff Ogilvie says you must think your way around this golf course. You must maneuver the golf ball, hitting draws, hitting fades, and picking your opportunities to attack. How good is this golf course? Look at the diversity of the winners. Phil Mickelson, one of the longer hitters in the history of the PGA Tour, has won here twice. And Corey Pavin, one of the shorter hitters in the history of the PGA Tour, has won here twice as well. It is always a great week of golf when you're at the Crown Plaza Invitational at Colonial. You can catch the broadcast, the play-by-play -play on the PGA Tour Network. Our broadcast begins Thursday at noon Eastern Time, Sirius XM. And of course, go to PGATour.com, the number one site in golf. Thanks, Fred. In addition to coverage on Sirius XM Radio, Golf Channel is live with first round action at 3 p.m. Eastern.